How deep is it here? It's pretty deep. Oh. 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 I got one. Yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> Woo, these mosquitoes are crazy. Oh, there we go. I told you, I just had to turn on my GoPro. <laughs> Should I just flip them? <laughs> I asked him. He's stuck in a rock. Woo! First ever blue fish. Someone, did he come off? No. Hurry up and put it back on. And go out there, dog. They're coming in. Hey, Simone, just leave your rod there. I'll take care of it. Come grab mine. <laughs> yeah, just throw mics out there. All right. Here, dude. Just drop it, go. I got hey, it. Thanks, dude. Yeah. dude just, that's a glide beam, so just go a little slow. Go a little slow? Yep. All right. Oh, he came off right there. Oh, he's dude, there's. Go ahead, go. Dude, they're everywhere. Hey. What in the world? Right they're everywhere. Oh, there we go. Right here. Close. Dude, this guy's big. He's full on drag. Ooh. Dude, he's like in a bunch of weed. Oh, it is a striper. Dude, that's my first ever striper. <laughs> Careful, someone is slippery. Yeah. You want a picture with them? I don't have my phone. You have your phone on you? Yeah, I got my phone. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's my first ever striper right there. Let me see it, someone. It's probably 24 yeah, it's or 25. Short. It's a short. All right. It's a short for sure. One, two, three. There we go. All right. One, throw them back. Yeah, throw them back. All right. Appreciate the fight. Stripers and blues like school together or something? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Oh. A little bit different scenery. Today, we're out here on the East Coast. I'm out here with my brother-in-law and just, we got a whole squad out here. And as you guys already saw, we already had first light action, caught my first ever bluefish, caught my first ever striper. And so it's pretty late. I don't want to do too much talking because when you fish out here, it's all about finding the school or getting the school to come in or getting on the blitz, if you will. And so these fish, they'll just chase bait fish and wherever they end up, that's where you find them. And so they, they're just chasing bait fish all over this bay. And you just hope that when they run by, everybody's lures are in the water. I don't really know what this is, but it's just a big old jerk bait and you cast it and you just retrieve it. And when these fish hit it, they hit it like a freight train. Big old spinning reel, seven foot rod, 50 pound mono leader. We're just out here having fun. Oh, fish on. Unexpected. Jeez, these things are like torpedoes. Yeah. They don't know when to stop. Wait till you get into the 30s. The 30s? Yeah. The big, big ones? Yeah. Last Tuesday, we got into the big, big ones. Jeez. Dude, they tear their self up doing that. Yeah, I feel bad. It's crazy. I don't think I've been doing a very good job showing you guys these fish. The reason why is because like we're in a rush. 
So when you're fishing these type of fish, again, this is my first time doing this, so I'm learning as well. But these fish, they come in schools. And when they come in schools, it's lights out. And so when you catch one, usually there's more fish. That's why I don't want to be messing around with a fish. I want to throw that fish back and cast and catch more fish. That's why I haven't been showing you guys the fish that I've been catching. But from here on out, I'll be better at that and show you guys the fish in better detail. But that was one heck of a start. We fished low tide, I believe. And like any other ocean fishing, it's all about timing and it's all about tide. If the tide is right, the fish are here. And if the fish are here, you will catch the fish. If the tide is wrong, the fish aren't here. And if the fish aren't here, you won't catch fish. So this is a Yozuri Hydro Minnow LC150F. It's a jerk bait and it rattles. And all we're doing is we're launching this thing as far as we can. We're launching it and we're just speed reeling it back to us because these fish, according to Anu, like they're just reaction bites, right? Like they see your uh, lure moving super fast and they come and they just crush it. So launch it out as far as you can. Once it hits the water, just start re reeling fast. And you want to reel pretty fast. This is a lot faster than what I'm used to when I'm fishing for like bass or other stuff like that. And when they hammer it, it's just no hesitation. That's the gist of what we're doing. And where we're fishing today, the daily limit for bluefish is three. You could keep three bluefish per day, no minimum size or any size restrictions. But for stripers, they have to be at least 28 inches. The one I caught earlier was probably like 25. He was short, so we just released him. Oh, this guy's tiny. <laughs> it feels like a baby. He hit it, he missed it, and he came back. Maybe he's not as small as I thought. He is a decent one, actually. That's my, dude, that's my second biggest of the day. Well, I gotta get him off my pan now. You get the vein. There's a vein in here, right there. You see the vein? Right when you get the vein there, oh, he, he just squirts bleeds. out. Yeah, he just okay. bleeds. That's another one. We just bled them. Basically, take a scissor, cut right here, cut that little vein, bleed them out. You want to bleed these fish so they taste better. I wanted to try across everyone. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and that looks like a good one. Oh, I just I just missed one. I just missed one. Got him. <laughs> They're here. Blitz is back. No, no, don't home. Dude, this is crazy. Dude. This might be this might be the biggest one. Oh <laughs> dude. He's a drag peeler. Uh, he's he's okay. That's not a bad one, Simone. It's not bad. Ooh. <laughs> Almost pulled me in. He's big. Don't, don't go too close to those rocks down there, bro. No, I was gonna go over here, but he pulled me. <laughs> Dude, he's a fighter. Good fighter. Oh. 
Let's go! That's what it's all about right there. Literally, it's like that one time where if you're real, your lure is not in the water, you're not yeah, getting you're gonna it. Miss. I have better throw. Oh, 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 Dude, these fish are crazy. Dude, this is crazy. Boom. Dude, these are nice fish. You got them some Yeah, I got them. Where that buoy is, a really nice sandbar down there. A lot of people like trip up down there. Ah. How deep is it here? It's pretty deep. Oh. 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 oh I got one. Oh. Yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, oh my gosh, we're tripled up, we're tripled up right here, what are you guys doing, dude, this guy's big, this guy's big, go over here, coming over here, are you on too, yeah, I'm on, I'm on a big one, I'm on a big one too, we're all on big ones, yep, I'm going, Oh my goodness, dude! No, we're towards your ass. Mine's right here. Oh, oh my goodness, dude! I can't even get this guy out. I'm trying. I'm trying. Who's that one? That's Anu's. Anu has one too. We got four. Come on, you gotta go in first. I know. If I bring my head, we're gonna tag it. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Come on. Mine's big too. Come on, baby. Get in here. Yo, you gotta land this, buddy. Come on, buddy. Someone got one. Oh, Mike, that's you. I know, he came off. Come on. Ooh. Dude, this guy's big, dude. I'm flying back if I lose this one. Dude, that one's a game. Oh, my goodness. This is, yo, this is it, man. Dude, this is wild. This is wild. Oh my goodness. Damn, Bro. Cool. I'm yep, I'm good. I think he missed it. Oh my goodness. He's right up on that rock there. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Mike, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Hold on, hold on. Dude, that thing's huge. Okay. okay. Ready? Mike, careful. I got your line, right? Woo! Ready? Still come over here with me. Just come with me. Okay. I'm coming. Oh, I thought Mike got off. Woo! All right, you got him, Simon? Yeah, I got him. Dude, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Bro, that thing's huge. Thank you, buddy. One last look. Oh. Oh, oh, my deal. Oh, my goodness. These are good fish. No, these are stunned. Oh, my goodness. No, I can't even force this guy. Yeah, this guy's a stud. Come over here, bud. They're back. They're back. Oh, 
my goodness. These things are studs. <laughs> Bro, this is insane. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh. Oh. Dude. I'm holding him upside down. That thing's a stud. That's a logger, dog. That's a that, stud. That is a gator. Is it? Yeah, that's a gator, dog. That's a good fish. That's a nice fish. All right. Woo. 30 incher. Yeah, Close. All right, thank you, buddy. That thing's woo. These fish, when you land them, they don't they don't sit still for you. They just flop everywhere, and this is what they do to your lure, right there. Mess everything up. And again, the reason why it's so hard to tame them is because you don't want to lip them like your normal largemouth bass or you know like your freshwater because these bluefish they have really sharp teeth. If you put your hand in them, they'll just cut your hand open that was my first ever session for bluefish in my life we fished this morning we went back got breakfast came back out for the low tide which is the session that we just got done and i'm just gonna tell you guys you guys did not see all the fish catches because there's there was way too many to show to make the video not drawn out so you guys only saw the highlights but boy was that fun so we have one more session tonight and then we have one more session tomorrow morning and then we're gonna call it for bluefish so for now we're gonna go back cook bluefish and taste bluefish for the first time in my life so with the bluefish the processing is pretty simple it's just like any other fish that follows the norm of filleting the fish into two and then skinning it removing the white bones and then on the bluefish i've noticed that they have a lot of black meat which i think is just blood on their meat so i tried my best to trim off as much of that bloodline as possible and then for the most part they're not necessarily super white meat, but they're close enough to be classified as white meat. Seasoned it with blackened seasoning, threw it on the grill, that's done deal. On the side, we have the mung peppers. This is simple stuff. We have chili peppers, green onion, and cilantro, just diced or chopped, depending on how you wanna do it. Add fish sauce, add lime, add water. And ultimately, when you're making the side, it's all about your taste so if you want it more spicy you throw in more chili pepper if you want it more salty add in more fish sauce if you want it more sour add in more lime if you want it not as salty and not as sour add in more water and according to a lot of people they consider bluefish trash fish they don't like it for some reason and so maybe they're cooking it wrong maybe bluefish are trash fish i don't know again we grilled it so once again you look at it it's just white meat it's not as white as striper, it's not as white as crappie or white bass or walleye, but it's white enough to be considered white meat. Black in seasoning, it's good. There's no fishiness to it. I will say that the texture of bluefish is a lot more firm than say crappie. Bluefish, you really have to chew it and you really have to dig around with your fork to break it on the plate. But in terms of flavor though, just white meat, clean meat, and there's no fishiness that I can taste. So I'm not entirely sure where people are getting the idea that these are trash fish. Maybe they're doing something wrong. Maybe they're prepping something wrong. But one thing I want to point out is every time we kept a bluefish, as soon as we said we were going to keep it, we bled the fish immediately. And I think that's one mistake that a lot of people don't do is they don't bleed their fish and then they go home and eat it and they just have all that bloody meat, which that bloody meat or the blood itself is often the cause for gamey or fishy wild game or wild fish. So that's one thing that you always wanna do is you wanna bleed your fish. So we bled our blue fish and then I also removed as much of that bloodline or dark meat from the white meat as much as possible. And perhaps that's the difference maker right there. Pair that grilled blackened blue fish with the mung peppers Bluefish is definitely not my favorite fish to eat, but it's a fish that I would not mind to just keep going back and catching and eating because it's just right there in the spectrum. Good eating fish. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of my East Coast trip in 2023. For now, we got other fishing to do. Catch you in the next one.